Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Hearing Choices here. Now today we're going to have a look at the Task Manager Habit Tracking App Prodi. This one, to my knowledge anyway, is a newer one on the market and looks to be quite good. But let's dive in and have a look at Prodi. Okay, so we can see from our little pull down menu here, we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on, but we've got our little habits that I set in the morning on here. So if we jump in and have a look at those, we're taken to our sort of main screen for product. So I've got gym and make bed, so I've got gym first. Well, <laughs> obviously I get out of bed first, but anyway. Now, one of the main differences here is that it has a habit stack. So rather than just having your habit and doing that, you go through the process of achieving that habit. So here, we've got wake up. Now it has a little timer here as well. So we wake up for a minute, we make our bed for a minute, and we get dressed, and then we're done with that habit. So I really like the habit stacking approach. And same with the gym. Get up, get dressed, get to gym, work out. Simple. At any time we can add more habits by pressing our plus button. So let's have breakfast. Now step one, get to kitchen and so from here too you can change how long it's going to take down the bottom here with the slider and whatever else so cook eat just as an example there and you can keep going with however many stacks you need so continue there and you've got all the different little genres that you can choose to put your habit into uh, let's go for health when do you want to do it every day or custom days every day Write it down, a reason for motivation if you need it, and set a reminder, so yeah, let's just say then. So there I have my breakfast habit done, completed. Now, other things in here too, you can check out how you're going with your streak, but also too, it has, and it hasn't come up again, damn. Little accountability tracker in the app, so even if you don't complete all your tasks, you can still hold yourself accountable for actually checking in and at least attempting some of it as well. And in general, so we're at level three, overall done 16. Now here we've got where you can reflect on your day. How was your day on a scale of one to five? Now it normally asks you this when you first load into the app every day. What did you complete today? Let's just say we completed that one. How was your day? Yep, today I noticed something interesting. You can select how you feel through that. And there we have how we're going, how we're tracking with the app. So that's in a little lump bit. And then we've got lessons. So they have a little library of lessons on why you would do habits this way, why you would habit stack, how to get your mindset going, why to start with little habits first. And these are just quite this basic. The first lesson of the habit building course. You'll learn the fundamentals of how habits first be between our goals and our and so forth. So it's nothing, nothing too extreme, nothing too different, but just does little tweaks a bit better than say, I think Fabulous did. When you first load up the app, it comes up with a whole bunch of little screens with text telling you why you would make little habits, why you would start small, why you would get your success on track first. And those little lessons in there that you can access anytime, especially if you've got the premium, there's only two available on the free one, I think it was. But here you can see yearly you pay about 28 bucks for this. That's not much at all, really. And that's 50% off as well. So you can create unlimited habits, build multi-step routines, you get your statistics, and listen to the motivating audios. But here in our settings, there's not a great deal. So you can choose dark mode or whatever, which looks like that. Show your accountability check-in, show upcoming habits, and your daily mood check-ins. Now you can change the habit order as well, so which you can delete them there, or hold and drag. Very, very easy. So everything on this app is easy to use and easy to go through, easy to understand. That's Prodi. So it is an easy to use, easy to understand, easy to see the benefits from app. Now, does that put it ahead of Habio or Fabulous? They do tend to have a lot of fluff and a lot of extra learning involved than this one does at the moment, at the current time. So it's up to you whether you actually need that or do you just need that thing to give you that inspiration. I really love the habit stacking thing, especially for minor, just very basic examples, but even just getting to work 
Maybe you need a reminder to defrost the windscreen or something in winter. Or something like that holds you up, that's constantly making you late, that's constantly giving you that anxiety that you need to counter. So those are very interesting, very great take on your standard habit tracking app. And I really appreciate that. But anyway, plugging Proddy in, at the moment I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. It's good, but maybe it's a little bit too basic. I really do like that habit stacking bit, but that's about the only significant feature that it's got going on. And two, with the check-in button, it does seem that it's always a bit of a hassle to log into the app itself and do that, the accountability tracker. Because it's <sighs> nothing really outrageously good or it doesn't give you too much, just that you've checked in for the day. But just even being able to do that like as a widget or something else, I think it'd be just as beneficial. But anyway guys, they're my thoughts on product. Have you used it? Would you use it? What do you think of these habit style apps or this one in general? Leave a comment down below and always remember to like, share, comment, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.